Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show to make this animation with Element 3D in After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first step, let's create new solid layer. Go to here, right mouse, new and solid layer. Add name Element 3D and color black. Click OK. Then go to Effects, Video Coupled and Element. Then click Scene Setup. And go to Import. Let's select the 3D model. And click Open. Don't change any settings, click OK. OK, that's good. And let's make materials for this form. First, let's go to Presets and go to Physical Folder. Let's use black glass. Let's use for here and for this part. And let's use bright light for this white icon. And let's use Chrome for Samsung text. Okay. And let's use again black gloss for this part and for this part okay and let's use again gray for these buttons okay nice so let's open here and let's select these objects let's hide here okay let's enable step by step first Let's watch this part. Okay, let's use Chrome for this part and glass. Okay, let's use glass here and select this glass. Go to here, change for opacity and enable this part. Let's use Chrome and come here. Let's use glass or let's use black. Okay, and come glass. Let's use glass material. Okay, but I want to use black glass for this corpus. Okay, not bad. And let's enable this part use chrome or use black okay not bad and let's enable front cam and use glass no let's use black glass okay not bad so in this time let's go to here select this model and ctrl d for duplicate and change name Phone and this change display. Let's open phone and let's search display here. Let's see. Okay, let's first see difference. Use paint red for display. Okay, this display. Let's change name display and let's use black and height. Then close here and select display, let's hide. Okay. Let's see again. Okay, so let's open inside display and let's use red. Okay, this main display and let's hide other details. I will keep only display. Okay and select this paint red go to see materials and let's right mouse new material and let's use for display and select this default and let's go to here go to diffuse click non set and go to click low texture and let's use display image click open okay not bad let's we can change like these labels Click OK. 
Then for better reflections, let's change the environment. Okay, not bad. And go to presets, open environment, and backlight environments. Okay, let's use this. Okay, or this. Okay, that's good. And let's go to default. Change some settings for better reflection. We can change glossiness for reflection zero or change it five. Okay, nice. And change reflective like this. Change one that five. And illumination. Let's change like this. Okay, and let's click use diffuse color, change intensity like this, for more color like this, let's change this 120, nice, and click OK. So let's create new camera, click OK, and I will use camera movements with these icons, for shortcut you can use C, and let's Press C, change like this. Okay, nice. And select this element 3D solid layer. Go to render settings and open physical environment. Let's show in background. Okay, let's back to scene setup. I want to change background image. Let's go to environment. And let's use black and white click this checkbox for see background okay or let's use purple okay not bad let's click ok and change camera view okay not bad and select this solid layer let's close showing background and let's move to back a little bit okay in this time let's select this camera let's right mouse and go to camera let's create orbit null and let's hold control double click on behind icon for move anchor point center okay let's press air let's see okay not bad let's change rotation like this and moved up like this okay so let's create new background layer right mouse new and solid layer add name background click ok and move to behind here go to fx presses search effect gradient ramp and select this gradient ramp let's use for background solid layer and change ramp shape radial ramp and click swap colors Go to start color, change to black, and this let's change to dark blue. Okay, and let's move to the center and change rub scatter 100. Okay, we can change this a little bit and this. Okay, not bad. Let's change also this. Okay, so in this time, let's make loop animation. Select this null and press P. Make new passing chain frame and let's move to down. Go to one second. Move to up. Again, go to two seconds. Select first chain frame, copy pass. Press N. Let's see. Okay, select chain frames, let's make easies and select passing chain frames, go to center and let's move like this. Okay, let's enable title action save. Okay, let's move to a little bit to center. Let's see. 
Okay, so select keyframes. Let's hold Alt, move to right for slow animation. Let's say again. Nice, select keyframes again. Go to graph editor and let's make graphs smooth. Nice, I like it. So back to keyframes and let's add rotation keyframes. Go to first second, hold shift press R and make Y keyframe and X keyframe. Go to here, change rotations, change Y rotation and X rotation. Let's go to first second and select first keyframes. Let's change keyframes like this. And okay, let's see. Okay, go to last shape frame, select first shape frames, code pass. Select shape frames, let's make easies, go to graph editor and make graph like this. Let's see. Nice. Okay, so let's back to shape frames and select this element 3D. Let's open lighting. We can change light here. Let's change light style cinema. Okay, I like it. Not bad. And let's open ambient occlusion. Enable here and change intensity 10. Okay, nice. So friends, this is part one and I will share part two, three, four, five and I will show A to Z how to create realistic product animation with After Effects and Element 3D. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video, please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!